Hey viewers, today I'm going to show you how to replace vintage aero brake lever hoods. These hoods are just trash. They're like frayed at the edges, they're tearing, the uh, r rubber is starting to turn into like a sticky goo. These things are junk, so I'm going to replace them with brand new ones. Since these old hoods are just junk, I'm just going to go ahead and cut them off. They're not usable at all. Like that, and they're all kind of sticky. Yuck. Ugh. Now, obviously, you're going to need some new hoods for your brake levers. These brake levers here are Shimano BL1051s. They're an older style, and the hoods for these are not real commonly available. I did some searching. I found a new old stock pair of hoods for these brake levers on eBay for about 40 bucks. Pretty pricey. But with some research, I found that the brake hoods from a newer style, 1055, will work on these. They're not an exact fit, but they're pretty close. The little cutaway here is slightly different shape but they will work on these and they're much more easily available and I found these on Amazon for about 12 bucks. Uh, please don't ask me what type of hoods your particular brake levers will you know, need. You have to do some research and I don't have any magic sources for hoods. You're just gonna have to shop around. Anyway, that being said, let's, I'll show you how to go ahead and install these. Now when installing the hoods, be aware there could be a left and a right hood. Uh, they're usually marked somehow. In this case, they're marked on the outside with an R for right and an L for left. They're also marked on the inside with the model number and an R and an L in there. As a general rule, if there's a brand name, you want the brand name facing to the outside. Now, it's important that you get the correct hood on the correct lever. Like in this case, there's like a little part that sticks out on the inside of the hood that meshes up with a notch on the lever. So if you got the wrong one on the wrong lever, they're just not going to fit right. Now I'm ready to install the hood. To help it slide on a little easier, I'm going to lubricate the inside of the hood using isopropyl rubbing alcohol, which you could buy at your local drugstore. Uh, what's great about this is it evaporates and leaves no residue at all. If you can't get rubbing alcohol wherever you are, you might try water or something, but you're kind of on your own. I like rubbing alcohol, and that's what I recommend if you can get it. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to squirt some of this to the inside of the hood and just get it all wet in there. Then I just slide this over the brake lever like this, slide it up, and I'm just going to have to uh, stretch it over this hump here. Just work it over in a place like this, then work it so it gets fitted around this little collar here. Like that. Now, as I said earlier, this hood was not designed specifically for this brake lever, that the cutaway was slightly different. And if you look here, there's maybe just a tiny little gap there, and there's a little bit of opening up there. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's close enough, and it'll work just fine. I went ahead and replaced the other hood using the exact same steps, and so now I can move forward and replace this ugly, worn-out handlebar tape. Ugh. So that is how to replace the hoods on these vintage brake levers. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Hopefully you found this video useful or interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button. Be sure to click the bell so you get notified when new videos come out. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there like that page. I spend a lot of time over there. It's a lot of fun. So. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching.